Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Hawkmoon quest. Sorry I didn't get this video out very quick. I took a couple days to get it and I've been pretty busy. So this is kind of the first chance I've had to work on it. That said, it's really not too bad of a quest. It's only about three or four hours to complete. All that's really involved is just going a few places, picking up feathers, and doing a couple missions, and that's about it. Personally, I'm just glad this quest came out after Beyond Light, because load times are so much better than they used to be, and this quest would have been super annoying. But anyway, I won't waste any more time. First thing you'll need to do for this quest is run to the Tangled Shore and talk to Spider. Right after you talk to Spider, go talk to the Crow, and he'll get you started. The Crow tasks you with finding a few feathers scattered around the system. So where are these? Feather number one is right outside Spider's lair. It's right on top of one of those storage containers right to the right of those little barriers before the main entrance. You'll find the second feather in the sludge in the EDZ. It's super close to spawn, you'll see it in the video here. You just shoot across the little crevice and then jump up on the old scaffolding looking structure. You can find the third feather in the steps in the Cosmodrome. Fortunately, this one is also very close to where you spawn in. Look up and to the right a little bit when you transmat in, jump up on that rubble, and it should be right there. The fourth feather is found in the Davilian Mists in the Dreaming City. This one's located just to the left of the giant door at the beginning of the Last Wish Raid, or the Blind Well. And the last feather, the fifth one. This one's a little bit more of a hike, but you gotta track all the way back to where the season really kicked off, where Osiris got almost killed by a single knight, because story. So yeah, you're going back to the Shrine of Oryx. Just follow the on-screen tips to find the exact spot for this one. After collecting all five feathers, you'll have to head back to the crow, where he'll tell you about some dreams he's been having about a crow and the EDZ. After you finish speaking with him, you'll go and complete the first mission for this quest. It's pretty easy, straightforward, there's just some platforming and some minor combat towards the end. Really not too bad. As always, using Aikilos weapons or Seventh Seraph weapons for the Warmind Souls is help helpful for ad clear. And then I just used a machine gun to finish off the bosses. So once you complete this mission the first time, you'll get a more or less broken down form of Hawkmoon, of frame. So the crow then tasks you with kind of rebuilding it. To begin the rebuilding process, you have to collect 50 orbs of light. If you have a few masterworked weapons sitting around, this really isn't too bad. I just went to the Aphelion's Rest, Dreaming City Lost Sector, right below where Petra spawns sometimes. There's a pretty decent amount of adds here and you can rack up orbs pretty quickly. If you want to just do a strike to complete this too, that's certainly not a bad idea. Good way to multitask, maybe complete some weekly bounties at once too. But I think just completing some lost sectors is probably the quickest way to go. After collecting all 50 orbs, you will then go back to the crow again to talk to him, where he will discuss more dreams that he's been having of the EDZ. After which, you'll have to go and complete another mission in the EDZ. This mission has some interesting back areas that Bungie added. I think they're kind of cool, and it ends up leading into the Lake of Shadows boss room. Throughout this mission, there's some interesting dialogue and also some more paracausal feathers that you have to pick up. These are pointed out with waypoints though, so they're super easy, you can't miss them. After this mission, you guessed it, you have to go talk to Crow. At this point, you have to continue reforging the Hawkmoon by either defeating champions in nightfall activities or guardians. Champions are about 3%, and Guardians are about 1% of your progress. Not exactly 1%, but close. At the time, Iron Banner was going on, so I actually thought this was a pretty good excuse to play Iron Banner and also knock out the quest at the same time, so... It worked out okay. I wasn't having a great night, so it took me about 7 or 8 games, probably. 
I wasn't having that many good games. This part is probably the longest. It took me a couple hours, but it's not too bad, just kind of grindy. I'm guessing it would go faster if you took some friends into a nightfall and farmed out some champions, maybe wiped a good checkpoint. But, you know, I'm a sucker for pain, so I opted for Crucible. <laughs> oh, and I really didn't even get any good weapons for Iron Banner, so there's that too. After you've completed this step, go talk to Crow one more time, where he will give you access to the third and final mission for this quest. Once again, you have to go back to the Shard of the Traveler that you found in the first mission and reforge the Hawk Moon one more final time. Unsurprisingly, there's more Taken Interference and a few more bosses, but this mission was pretty short and only took me about 10 minutes. Towards the end of the mission, you are granted a Hawk Moon. Clear one more boss, get to orbit, and you're good to go. Not only is Hawkmoon a beautiful weapon, but it also handles pretty beautifully. I don't remember personally too well since I played on Xbox and didn't get Hawkmoon until later, but people are saying that it feels a lot better than it did in Destiny 1, so that's good to keep in mind. Overall it has pretty healthy stats, feels very nice, feels really great with some target acquisition mods on, but that's all I'll say on that for now. I'm hoping sometime within the next few days or week or so I can actually get a full review of Hawkmoon out, so keep an eye out for that. But anyway, that's all for today, so I hope this quest helped you. It's pretty easy, can get it done pretty quick, and it's a pretty decent weapon, so I'd give it a shot. Thanks for watching, and if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.